I'm going to talk about some circle properties now, and some of these are really, really useful in finding other circle properties. The first one I'm going to talk about is the radius of any circle. And this is the distance from the centre to any point on the outside edge. And it is always the same no matter where you are on that circle, and that is the radius. The diameter of any circle is the distance across the centre, ensuring that it cuts through the centre point. And in fact, it is actually double the radius. The circumference of any circle is the distance around its outside edge. And in fact, the relationship between the circumference and the diameter is that the circumference is approximately three times the diameter. So three and a bit, and it's always that, it's always that case with any circle, its circumference is three and a bit times bigger than its diameter. In fact, is a set figure and this figure is 3.142 and that never changes. Now 3.142 itself is a bit of a mouthful and it's sometimes known as pi. That's P-I, not pi in that you eat, but pi is a Greek symbol and this is the symbol used for 3.142. To find the area of any circle, we can divide the circle up into many segments and then arrange those segments to form a very crude rectangle. I'll just arrange my final two pieces here. Now to find the area of any rectangle, we simply multiply the height by its length. From this diagram, we can see that the height of our rectangle is in fact the radius of our circle. And the length of our rectangle, if we consider all these blue segments, that is actually half of the circumference. So I'm about to use that in quite a complex formula. This, in fact, is a very crude rectangle, having only 16 segments. And the more segments I have, the closer to an actual perfect rectangle this will get. And that's how I can use this formula. So this is where it starts to get a little bit complicated. I know already that the height of this rectangle is h. Height. Well, in actual fact, this equals the radius of my circle along here. I know the length of my rectangle along here is, in fact, all these blue bits, or indeed all these red bits on this part, is half of my circumference. I know that the formula for finding the area of a rectangle is the height times the length, so therefore replacing each of those, I get one half of the circumference multiplied by the radius. Now, this is again where it gets a little more complicated. I know that the circumference itself is equal to 3 and a bit, 3.142, actually pi times the diameter. Now I can replace that for c in here. So I now end up with 1 half pi times d times the radius. I can also replace the diameter because I know that the diameter itself is equal to 2 lots of the radius. So I can now place that into the formula where I see d. So now my formula looks really complicated. 1 half times pi times 2 lots of r times r again. Now this in itself looks really complicated, but in fact we can neaten this up quite a bit. 2 lots of 1 half is 1 whole 1. And 1 whole 1 multiplied by anything, it remains the same. So in fact, these two cancel each other out. So I'm still left with pi... And r times r, as in x times x, is r squared. So the area for any circle is found by pi r squared. So to find the area of any circle, all you need, the information that you need, is in fact the radius. And then you can find the area of any circle. I hope that helps.